Welcome back to the Audio Live Show. My final guest today is a guy I'm excited to have here. I met him uh, about a month ago. He was nice enough. It was an honor. He called me up and asked if I would be a part of a coffee table picture book he's putting together uh, about the comedians, singers, pop culture people uh, who have kind of maybe, I don't know, uh, had an impact on the world in the last two decades, which was really flattering. And he had a great concept for it that we'll discuss, but uh, he worked with the uh, legendary Andy Leibowitz for a while. And a uh, real talented guy, Paul Mobley, is here. What's up? How are you, Artie? Good good to be here. Hey, thanks so, for having me. first of all, explain your concept for this book that I'm a part of. It was very flattering that you called me and your idea for what you wanted to do with me, which came out amazing, and uh, we should talk about we it. We should tell about the yeah, idea. Yeah. Well. You know, this is my third book, and I've always been interested in music. Picture book, coffee table Coffee type, table right, book, right, right. right. Which and I love. I mean, I don't know anybody who doesn't like the quad. They're great. They're right. great. So I've always been interested in music. That's essentially how I got into photography. Uh -huh. And I um, just started a couple of years ago photographing rock stars, and that turned into comedians, and then it turned into actors and actresses. Right. And I thought, wouldn't it be a great idea to do a book uh, with everybody combined. Right. But rather than just have a book full of pictures, maybe do a book that had information or, you know, any some more information. Tell about why you know the person, like the person, maybe totally. what they've done in, in the world of entertainment. Or, totally. Yeah. And what's what's been interesting about it is, in a lot of cases, as you know, you don't get a lot of time right. uh, with a person. Right. You were very generous with me, but sometimes I get five minutes, sometimes I get You're an hour. You're based in New York, and thank God with this schedule, if I'm not on the road doing stand-up, I got my weekdays open, and it was nice of you to be flexible with me, too. You yeah, know? so we just, you know, we've been doing it, and, you know, We've changed the name of the book four times. By the time it comes out, right now it's tentatively called 15 Minutes because that's about what the average I get. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, and, That's interesting. And, and it's hard, I think, you know, you really have to be on your toes to get right. a great photograph in right. 15 minutes. So right. I've gotten, um, over the years, used to shooting very quickly and, and not fussing around too Which much. Which is a talent in itself. No. Yeah. Now, now what, uh, who's in the book? You know, we've got everybody from Mike Tyson to you to Dave Grohl to Roger Daltrey to... Wow. It goes all across the board. I think we've got about 130 people right now, and I'm... I thought I'd stop it at 200, but right. it's going so good now. I'm just going to keep going until the publisher says enough. Now the book's going to be too big. I got to say, when my stand-up agent Rich Super called me about, it, I was so flattered. First of all, to hear your resume and stuff, and what you've done, and look at your stuff, right. uh, that you would want me in a book like that. I mean, would you, you know, what, what, like, what, what made you think of me to be in a book like that? Because I got to tell you, I even as myself don't think I deserve to be in that category. <laughs> you know, already a lot of um, the way that I've been doing this book. It, at the end of the day it's really a book of my work and right. my photographs. And as a photographer, uh, everyone has a different idea of what interests them. Right. And to me, I've always been interested in finding that great face. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times, somebody who might be super famous but doesn't interest me so much as far as the way they look or the way they behave right. um, may not be the first person I chase after. Right, and, right. you know, immediately when I started to make my preliminary list, there were a lot of faces that I just had to have because I knew I'd get a good photograph from them, <laughs> right. whether they were super famous or not famous. Right. And when you came along, I mean, we I had the idea instantly when I thought of you. Right. And, you know, I don't know if you'd like to talk about no, explain, it. No, explain what, the, what you thought of it. And I wouldn't, it's really a, a unique, great thing, you know. Well, I knew, listen, I knew you were a Yankees fan. Right. The second that... You know, Rich told me we were going to do this. My, you know, I do a lot of uh, restless nights sleeping and waking <laughs> up with an idea in the middle of a dream. Right. And immediately I thought, you know, an old time Yankees vintage baseball card. Right. And then I thought Babe Ruth right away. So <laughs> when that when that starts to come to mind, there's a classic picture of Babe Ruth on a baseball card. He's holding the back kind of down, right. on his left side. He's got the Yankee hat on, the classic old Yankee uniform. He's got that kind of stoic right. look on his face, looking straight forward. Right. Yeah. So what happened was I thought of that, and then where where all the stress comes in is where am I going to get the uniform? Where right. am I going to get a bat? Where right. am I going to get a hat? And I remember um, had the uniform had the great bat, and then I heard about a dentist on the Upper East Side who had the biggest collection of Yankee hats in the city. That's the good thing about New York, especially with Yankee stuff. You're going to find collectors who right. might have it, yeah. Well, I called him up, and I told him what I was doing, and I said, I need, like, Babe Ruth there. And he said to me, who are you shooting it with? And I said, Artie Lang. He goes, oh, I love Artie. Come and get <laughs> So he, you know, put it in a box and, like, said, please 
be really yeah, careful. Yeah, you better be careful, right? Right. <laughs> well, so, you were. I, if the, you know, if the guy's listening or not or ever hears it, you could not have been more respectful with that stuff. You were yeah. very... And I got to say, so you told me the concept before we went in, and I went in a couple of days later, and I was blown away by what you got. You, right. you, 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 you had an eye, a concept. Mm -hmm. It was... The hat was perfect. The way you put it on was perfect. The way you, you got the... You used the shirt to be the pants, which you had to cheat. Uh, the perfect shirt yeah. and bat. It was, it was amazing. Well, for me, I mean, I knew that was going to be the easy part, but there's always a little something extra that I try to get out yeah. of my subject. And for me, the cigarette... Right. Totally gave it. Put a, a button in the mouth. <laughs> well, it, it kind of just made it current, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Um, you know, so many people have just gone crazy over that picture. I've gotten <laughs> so many people uh, that have sent me notes and said, right. "How can I get a copy?" And you know, today I have a little surprise for you, Artie. Oh, no kidding! A little surprise. Really? Yeah. <laughs> You're good at surprises. Well, there's the picture. Look at how great yeah. that came out. <laughs> so he I mean, did a perfect job, wow. man. <laughs> so we brought a little something what here do for we got? you because I really oh. thought we needed something for the man cave. Oh, man. So. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. It's a it's a it's a big blown up shot. <laughs> and so those aren't real pants. No, that's the shirt. You know what he did with this? Wow. He did, he took the shirt and lapped it over me and then cheated it. Ah, that's that's great. Yeah. Wow, so, man. And the hat. Look at how cool that hat. Now it was the hat from the dentist too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep, the hat and the bat. <laughs> so um, so this is the picture that'll probably be in the book. Yeah, you know, I've got another one of you where you were leaning your hand on your head, and it's it's a really sweet picture as well. You, you were know, gracious enough, because my girlfriend came with me at the, the, at the time, and and, uh, and uh, you took a bunch of pictures of me and her. They're the best pictures we've ever taken together. Thank you. And... Um, and uh, a bunch of stuff for me to use as personal publicity stuff. No, and uh, yeah. all great stuff, really. I mean, you, again, you have an idea. You got a, a concept, a point of view. That's great. Boy. Well, you got to find a house for it, you know, place for it here in your man no, cave. No, so. Believe me, we will find a, a good place for it. Yeah. And, uh, okay, we're going to take a break. When we come back, I want to talk a little bit more about who else you've worked with. Yeah. And uh, and I'm begging my book company to get you to shoot the cover of my books. So I hope you'll. Talk more about that. be a lot of fun. <laughs>